Okay, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to give a very quick and brief introduction about MVVM. What is MVVM? MVVM is an architectural pattern to build the graphical user interfaces. Stands for Model View View Model. It depends on the concept of separation of concern. I have my data access layer separated from the application logic and the view separated from anything else. In MVVM, I have the three main components, views or user interface, view model, and models. Models in general are the business objects that I have in my system. For example, if you have an application about uh, managing restaurant or managing uh, delivery orders, the model is going to be the order, the menu item, and etc. The view model contains is a class that contains properties and methods that traps the view logic. Okay, for example, I have a view for a login window. The login window contains two text boxes, one for entering the username or email and the second one for the password. And I have a button to implement, to invoke the login function. In the view model, I have two properties, one for the username, two string properties, username and password. And I have a function called login. This is different than the code behind file in the normal Windows or .NET applications like uh, the form and the code behind file of the form. The code behind file is related specifically to this view and contains and functions and events that only spe to specific framework and for a specific view. But here, view model, no, it's something totally different. View model actually is a testable classes and it's not related to any specific framework or any specific uh, type of applications. Like sometimes you can have this view model and it's for a Xamarin application that could run on Android and iOS and a view model for Universal Windows 10 application and the same view model for the WPF application. And there is other the type of .NET application that depends on MVVM, something like Avalonia and other frameworks. In addition to this, you cannot actually test the code behind file of a view. But here, you can test the view model, which is a very great advantage for implementing MVVM rather than going with a normal approach. How the communication and data transfers between these layers? Actually, when I have a text box in the view and a property here, the communication happens using something called data binding. We'll talk in, about this concept in another video. When I want to invoke a function in the view model from the view, we use something called commands. And when the data got to change inside the view model, we want to reflect this in the UI. And this happens using notification because view model implements an interface called I property change interface. We will talk about this during this course and we will try to make a full app. And the communication between model and view model actually somehow the same thing. View model write and read data from those models and when this data changed inside the model, view model got notified using notification with the same mechanism. We're going to see this in action uh, during this course, but using a specific framework called Reactive UI. That was our introduction. See you in another video.